Hey everybody, welcome to 1001 Spikes, or Avon Hawkins and the 1001 Spikes, the Temple of the Dead Mourns the Living, big long title for a game. Anyway, this is a game by Nicholas Inc., um, originally by 8-Bits Fanatics. It was released on like the Xbox Live in the arcade a couple of years back um, as 1000 Spikes. This is 1001 Spikes, a kind of updated version for PC. It was released yesterday, um, the 3rd of June, and it's for a cost of $15 or £10, depending upon where you buy it. And um, yeah, it, it's a very, very difficult platformer with a lot of... Um, a lot of very unforgiving levels and a lot of very unforgiving circumstances, but it's a lot of fun, very satisfying when you get a level down, especially since it kills you about 400 times before you actually get it finished. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll look at the options menu firstly. Um, so yeah, usual stuff, volume sliders. You can get a speedrun timer, which is pretty cool. Doubt I'll speedrun the game myself because I'm not very good. Um, you can toggle full screen on or off. Um, I would prefer if you could actually set resolutions yourself. So basically it's either full screen or 720p window. Um, I mean, I would like to see being able to maybe go like 1600 by 900 or something like that. Anyway, neither here nor there. One thing that does annoy me though is like the button assignment, like button 3, button 4, button 11, button 12. No fucking idea what that means. Um, I use a Xbox gamepad for PC. Um, I would prefer if you could see the Xbox buttons so you could know what you were actually setting them to or what they were originally. I know on the 1000 Spikes version on Xbox you did actually have the, the physical Xbox buttons on the screen so you could see which one was which. Maybe this allows for more things. Of course you can use like um, keyboard. It'd be nice if they'd done the same way that Spelunky done it say where you could actually see the keyboard key or the, the gamepad key. Neither here nor there though it's a small complaint about a game which is generally very very good. Um, and yeah I guess we should just go in and play the game. What I'll do is I'll delete this one because I don't need it. We'll start a new game. We'll talk about stuff. So you get an arcade mode which is kind of like a almost like um like tower fall i think we can play up to four players and do some things in like kind of arena modes and things like that story modes the, the the bit that interests me the 1001 spikes so we start um essentially we're aben hawkins this gentleman whose father has become missing on an expedition of some kind of archaeological type thing going on and you basically are trying to find him the game um <laughs> gives you 1001 lives to start with and with that mass of lives, you need to um, you need to try and survive these levels, and you will lose a lot of them. A lot of them will will disappear very very quickly. So we'll go first level. First things first. The game looks very good for a for a like, kind of like pixel arty game. It's kind of reminiscent of a Nintendo Entertainment System era type kind of game in terms of difficulty and as well as how it looks. It's very good. So we've got these little mice gentlemen here, these little rodent friends, and they're going to like tutorialize the levels for us. They're going to tell us what to do, things, stuff. I'll just rattle through this because I've done this already. You can, if you're playing it yourself, I'd probably listen to the mice. They've got some good information. So first thing I've just picked up there, we get keys. The general premise is you have to work through a level from left to right, pick up a key to get through the door at the end of the level. There's going to be traps littered throughout the place, things that will inevitably try and kill you. Um, you will die a lot. A lot of the dying will teach you how to complete the levels. And on the way you'll also be able to pick up like collectibles like a golden skull. Um, I don't know, I think they give you an extra life. I'm not sure if they do anything else on top of that. There is a gold skull on that level, I don't know where it is though. Took us 50 seconds there. Uh, you could probably do it very quickly if you tried. We'll go to the next level and we'll have a look. So, one thing I enjoy a lot about the game is the controls are so bloody tight. The controls are really, 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 really good. Um, I think with a game like this, especially in a game where there is a lot of trial and error, um, to the point that you're probably going to play through a level and die a lot, and the dying, or you getting killed, will show you how to complete the level. There'll be a lot of traps like spikes that will appear from certain things like this block here. Um, it doesn't have any spikes, obviously, but there are places and levels where they will have spikes and you won't expect it will jump down on them, there'll be a spike. Like for instance, oh, hello, I touched that spike. <laughs> not, not, um, not intended. So we've now got a thousand lives. Seems like a lot, but that'll go down very quickly. So yes, so we're gonna watch out, there's an arrow trap, or a spike trap here. We're gonna watch out for that. Our little mice friends, they'll tell us things, um, just out reach of the golden skull. We'll get that in a wee second, we've got spikes that come up from the floor there. All very standard video gamey stuff. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand on this and it's gonna break so I can go like this, grab that, and then we'll run through here. We get an extra life, that brings us back up to 1001. Conveniently, we'll grab this. Is there any spikes up here? There's not, okay. Um, yeah, and, and that's basically kinda what you're looking to do through each level. The difficulty ramps up substantially, so you'll find these first couple of levels are very, very simple. They're there to basically teach you how to play the game. Uh, introducing some new traps here, we've got our little fellas here. I should probably talk about the controls actually. Um, so you've got your standard left and right, 
jiggery jiggeries. Um, you've got with A on the gamepad, you've got a kind of one block high jump. With Y, you've got a two block high jump, which is <laughs> very important. You wouldn't imagine it being, but you can't just default to one style of jumping. Um, a lot of the time when I'm passing through a level, I'll use Y for the longer jump or the higher jump. But you will need the, the the traditional like A one block high jump to get over certain traps or through certain areas. And with um, B and X, we've got these like, kind of daggers we can throw. We'll use them to kind of like negotiate through traps by um, say for instance these arrow traps. We can shoot the arrows in the air with our with our B, and we'll also look to kill some enemies with these as well. So very, very basic stuff that kind of teaches you the general idea of what we're doing. So we've got a key here. The key is conveniently blocking this from shooting us. We'll grab that very quickly. I'd imagine this will try and shoot us here, or something will try and shoot us. We'll, we'll die! We'll die a lot, probably. Something will try and kill me eventually. This one falls, and that's, yes, yeah, okay. Come through here, very quick, yes. Um, so what I could do here... Oh. <laughs> I was trying to get the golden skull. So a lot of the time, I'll die trying to get a golden skull, which completely negates the whole extra life it gives you. Um, so sometimes I find that maybe it's not the best thing to go for the... The skulls. Oh, we'll try and get this. Oh, hello, nurse. Okay, there we go. We also get these pushy blocks, which we'll use to possibly hide from traps or to, to keep us safe from other traps. I'll wait for these to pop up again. There we go. I timed that. I'll say I timed it well, but I panicked. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, da, da. I knew I was going to do that. I couldn't remember which one fire that is, though. <laughs> I'm just going to leave the golden skull alone because I don't need it. Now it's just wasted two lives. Oh, up. Oh, steady. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, there we go, very good. So you get the general premise of what's going on here, what we're doing. I don't need to trigger that at all, but I'll do it anyway. I'm just going to press the button here. The button here will then change some blocks on the level, kind of like um, a scapegoat style kind of stuff. Now which one? It's the top one that fires at it. Um, I'm just going to use a regular jump there. i do a double jump up here. That should be fine. Really enjoy the music in this game, it's got very, very, very good music, it's kind of, well, it is 100% chip tune style, but it's got that classic nostalgic Nintendo Entertainment, uh, entertainment System kind of vibe to it, very, very good. So, next level, we've got these fuckers, scorpions. I think there's going to be spikes somewhere, no? No spikes? Really? The scorpions ain't too bad there, oh. Something's going to shoot me here, I know it is, I'm not sure what. <laughs> I can't be sure, they, they anger very quickly. Um, is he stuck on that block? I'd, I'd like it if he is. Okay, that's fine. We've made it through. Mouse, what are you saying? Things. You're saying stuff. That's good. Nice to know you're you're taking a, a care in my life. Anyway, we'll use a regular jump to get on this, and then we'll come over here. We'll grab that. We'll come back over here. I really like the water. Um, the way the water looks. It's a very simple way to make water look. <laughs> to make water look. That's how I said that. That's spikes, isn't it? Yes, it is. We'll jump up here. We'll grab that. No golden skull on this level, we'll fire through here. All, all very basic stuff. The next couple of levels, I believe, is when things start to get properly difficult, and it's when you get to see the whole trial and error side of things. Um, this one, not so bad. We can use this to stop that arrow trap there. And we'll wait for these spikes to trigger again. Come up here. I like the, the music on this level in particular. So you would think, oh, this is an easy one here. Oh, no, it's not. Spikes. I knew that was going to happen, though, so I went through quickly. I'm going to just avoid that shit there because I don't need anything. It doesn't need to be... I don't need it to be in my life. We're going to come through here. This bit's not too bad either. Um, initially, I was like, how the fuck do I do this? But if we use the regular jump instead of the, the big jump, there's a arrow trap there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for this to pass around again. And the idea is to jump up onto the, the left-hand side while this comes up from the right. And hopefully just catch it on the pass over. Like this. Oh, okay. Timed kind of poorly, but we made it through in the end. And it progresses like this on and on, and gets harder and harder, throws more traps your way. And I like the the ramping up of difficulty. It works, um, so this is basically saying you don't get no fucking checkpoints. Which is fair enough, I, I appreciate that. It wants you to do everything in a kind of one-er. Um, it can be particularly frustrating when it takes you... Maybe... Five, five or so turns to get, or five or so lives to get through the first half of the level, and you get to the second half, and you die instantly, so you have to then work through the first part you found really difficult. Um, this is going to trigger, isn't it? I don't know what that done. What did it do? Oh, of course, I need to press this button here and it opens up the door. And this is basically on to difficult land. So, th this is when we get the story kicking in. So our sister's saying basically to us, Father is missing, return immediately. 
Um, it was shortly after I had completed my task in Istanbul that I received this irritating news. Um, it was a sign of things to come. I'm just going to skip through this. It's, it's story stuff that you can read yourself if you go and buy the game, which I highly advise because it's really, really fun. If you like games like Spelunky or... I'm going to skip this as well. Right, okay. Here is when the game becomes actually the game. This is when things become fucking tough. Is that going to be a spike trap? It is. God damn you. Right, which one of you fuckers fires? Right, good. Okay, okay. I'm not going to explain basically what I'm doing here because you get the general idea. I'm not going to insult anyone's intelligence. We're going to try and play through this as efficiently as possible. Which fires? Oh, balls. Right, steady. Oh, balls. Okay. So what I was trying to do there is I was trying to use this to my advantage. I'm going to die a lot now. This is <laughs> this is this is basically the way the game is. So as I said before, there's a lot of um, trial and error type stuff where you'll die by a spike trap, and it's basically showing you where the spike trap is. That's all fair enough. Um, whoop! And then we'll come in here. We'll push that off there. I should have expected that. I, I should really have expected that. Um, so that really, there's no standing about. There's no there's no respite really. You don't get a chance to like think about what you're doing. Which I'm fine with. I'm okay with that. So there's spikes, right? We'll come down here. We'll push you off here. I'll come down here and I'll push you there, right? Okay. So there's no spikes in my way. There we go. The spikes are there. We'll push that forward. Push that off the edge there. Watch out. Okay, they're there. That's fine. Come down here. And there should be spikes there. Yes. Knew it. Knew it all along. And these three will definitely have spikes on them. I know it. Yes. Okay. Something's going to kill me here. I know it. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this over here. I'm going to come up here. Um, right, let's think about the, the logical way to deal with this. Probably like this. And like this. Oh, no! <laughs> right at the end! Right at the end. This level's not even hard. I've done it a million times. Um, so you're getting a feel for the game. Tremendously, um... Tremendously satisfying when you actually make a level, when you do it completely through from start to finish, and it just works, and you're like, oh, it's good! Like, where's that spike? It's there. Okay, so we'll watch out for that. We'll push that through there. Okay, steady. Just gonna come over here, jump in there. You're gonna be spikes, I knew it. Knew it all along. Um, so yeah, we, this one's easy enough. We'll come over here, we'll grab the rope, grab the key, very good. Sometimes I find when I pick up the key, the music changing up to the kind of faster beated, more, more the, the faster tempo stuff. It kind of gets me, I'm like, oh, it's, it's good, we're doing good stuff here. Okay, I used the knife, successfully get through that door. Whew. So you see in there that you can use the knives to deflect or to destroy the arrows when they're coming towards you. I'm not picking up many skulls, mostly because they're a huge inconvenience when you're just trying to play through the game. So there are spikes, that's all. They're going to break. Oh no. Okay, so watch out for this. This is going to fall down. Very good. Oh. Oh, I fucked it. <laughs> yeah, you can get that skull. That's probably one of the easier ones to get. Um, so if I just come over here and then go whoop, whoopsie doo, up oh, there we go. There we go, we get an extra life for, for that whole ordeal. There's going to be spikes here somewhere. I know it. Oh! Okay, there we go. Steady. Steady. So I see a lot of people let's play in the game, which is probably a good idea. I'm just going to make a, one of my usual gameplay first impressions videos, just because I, I, I don't want to get into the game in that kind of way, because I know if I do, I'll drive myself crazy trying to get this to happen. Okay, we're fine. We're okay. So wait for these to fire. So there we go. There we go. Grab that, you're gonna break for me, there we go. So we'll step on that. We're making things happen, this is fine. I'm worried, there's gonna be spikes in this probably, maybe? You can't be spikes, you were a falling block. Can I just sneak in here? Yeah, I can, fuck it, there we go. We're, we're working through these levels really well. So it's really the second kind of world or stage or area that's the kind of real game once we're past the tutorial. This one's a bit more tricky. Oh, yep, I should have expected that. There we go, we'll jump on that, we'll come back here. There we go. That took me about five minutes to work out the first time I've done it. There we go, up. <laughs> right, stand on the button, let them fall, we'll come over here. We'll jump. We missed it. <laughs> you, get a, you get a feel for the difficulty. The difficulty, it is hard. It's hard in that kind of, it'll take me a while to get used to the game kind of way. Once you understand what you're doing, it's not tremendously difficult, it is hard. But it's mostly more from a, I need to learn what's going on, so we'll jump on this, and we'll watch out for that. Oh, hello nurse, uh, there we go, up, oh, there we go. D done it first time, well, not really first time, but you get the idea. Whoop, and then we'll watch out for this guy, we'll just kill him because he's getting in our way, and then, yes, through. 
So I'll play through all these levels, of course. Um, what I'll do is once we do... I think that's probably a, a fair point to... What I'll do is I'll go back to the world map, we'll go back and I'll show you some of this area here. Um, there we go. So I've played through a lot further than, than that. So we're on to this area here. This is like Dickland. I mean, I, this is just ridiculously difficult. Um, so I've not actually completed this level yet. This is like basically spikes everywhere. But this is where I first realised that the controls were... And the level design, I suppose, were really, really great. Because you've got these like things where the spikes... And you've got just enough time to get to the next safe spot. Which I really enjoy. I really enjoy that kind of... Oh, we're gonna die. Nope, yeah, we did die. <laughs> so you can see I've got a lot less lives than the other save. So I've lost in the regional 70 lives or something. Which is not too bad. But I'm hardly through the game. Oh. Okay, there we go. Jump up here. Use the normal jump that time. This is the bit that's timed perfectly that I really enjoy. Whoa! Oh, okay. No, maybe not then. <laughs> Jump! And then we'll run through here. We'll just make it through. Pop. There we go. Up we go. Oh, no. Okay. Watch out. That spikes! Oh, just a bit too early. Just a bit too early. But yeah, I can't, I can't recommend the game enough. It's just really, really great. Um, I, I started my YouTube channel with a game like Spelunky. This game reminds me of Spelunky in a certain sense. It's got the same kind of general archaeologist's kind of vibe to it. Okay, we made it through there. This is the bit that I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Right, so there's, there's this bit here, but this breaks, and then it will go, oh, hello nurse, oh no. I think what I'm meant to do is jump up in the air there while there's space. Ah, uh, no, oh, dear lord. Okay, we're fine, we're okay, we're, we're making things happen, this is good. This is good progress! Just don't, don't fuck it up. There we go, we'll run through here, give it an extra second. There we go, right. So what I think I should do is, when I get to the first... Right, I'll show you what I think I should do, right. When we get to the first one here, we stop for a second. Wait, there we go. When we get to this one, jump! And then, there we go, okay. Oh no, yes, we're fine. Ha <laughs> ha Um, can I break you? I can't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do! Jump up on that. Then push you, and then, whoop. Push you, and whoop. Push you, and whoop. Then I'll grab that. Oh no! No! <laughs> you fucking game! Okay. I know what to do now. I've worked it out. It's in the back of my mind. I know what I'm doing. Watch as I don't do it again. We're fine. Just regular jump. Run through. Wait. Now! Okay. Very good. Steady. Steady! Wait. Okay. Jump! And then. Oh, that was a spike! The, the unauthorized spike that came up there. I'm not happy about that. It was not given permission. Right, we'll jump up here. Okay. This is how we do it. Wait for those spikes. There we go. Push it and then up, up. Push it up. Push it up. All oh, these fuckers are going to get me. I know they are. Um. Oh, the, the fire trap. So there's no time limit to the levels, which is good. As, as far as I know, anyway. There's no, like, ghost that arrives, like, in Spelunky. Um, I'm trying to work this out here. Right, so this is going to probably break. Oh. <laughs> no! Oh, I, I don't know how to do it then. I think what I need to do is wait on those blocks and then do a, a long jump to the left. There we go. Stop here. Stop here. And wait. There we go. Okay. Wait for this to spike up again. There we go. And we wait here. And then we do it. Whoop. And then, oh, unauthorized spike! Okay, there we go, very good. Whew, okay. Timing, it's all about timing. That's what I like about the game, I think. A lot of it does come to timing, and, um... I like things with timing or rhythm, that I like the whole counting, I'm like, oh, leave it to the last second, there we go. A little bit longer, there we go. There we go. Now I can get over here. Right, what I need to do here is, I think I need to wait for these blocks to fall, slightly. Oh, no, no, that's not what you do at all. Right, jump, jump. Keep running. Stop. I'd love to see someone speedrun this. Uh, it fascinates me the idea that someone could run through this, like, and, and perfect the game very quickly. Very, very impressive stuff if they can. But yeah, I, I can't praise the game enough. I think it's a tremendously good game for the kind of difficult platformer type games. Like, say, I Want to Be the Guy, which is a game that I've heard this compared to quite regularly. That game... I never felt the game controlled very well, I always felt the controls were a bit kind of clunky and airy and they didn't feel particularly good to play and I felt all the time that the game, although it was fucking me over, I felt like sometimes it was the controls fucking me over. With this I don't feel like that, I feel like the game is fair. It's unfair, but it's fair. 
How do I do this? How the fuck do I do this? Wait, there's a... Hmm. I'm gonna try something. I was really hoping that that would cause a, a fall in the... Right, watch out, watch out! Um, right, we're gonna do this quickly. Oh, 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 there it is there. Okay, there we go. Oh, no fire! Right. That's what we do, but I need to <laughs> time it with the fire. We'll do it. We'll do it this time. I I have faith. So this is the kind of trial and error side of the game that I was talking about. There's a lot of um, you kind of play through a level. You work out what's going on. You work out the timings. You work out things. Steady. There we go. We'll come over here. We'll do it. Big jump. Unauthorized spikes. Oh, no. I thought I could make it. I thought I would make it in just one. Yeah. Okay. Steady. Aben Hawkins, I believe in you. I believe you can do it. You have the hat required. There we go. Yep. Right. Jump, and then... I should jump here. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a jump. That's definitely a jump. We'll run through here and we'll go whoopsie-doo. And then we'll push this over. Regular jump. We'll do one more. Grab that key. Wait for the spikes. There we go. We'll push this over a little bit. Jump. Push this over a little bit. Jump. Push this over a little bit. Jump. There we go, right. I think I go when it fires. Let me get fire. There we go now. Nope, it was too early. Yep, I need to go just before the fire goes for the first time. That would make sense. Timing. Oh no! Oh, I jumped too many times. Why am I jumping? Tom, you've never jumped there before in your life. Why are you doing it now? Don't deviate from the plan! Okay, we're fine. We're okay. I need, I need to, I need to keep telling myself that or I will cry. <laughs> yep. And then, right, we'll come along here. That one will crack. We'll go along here. We'll do jump. And then unauthorized spikes. There we go. Very good. We'll come over here. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay. Jump. At least there's no arrow traps. Oh, I bet an arrow trap dicks me right at the end. Always the same. Right. We'll wait for those to spike up. We'll push this along a bit. Regular jump. There we go. Do that again. Regular jump. One more. Right. I'll go now. Oh, time to perfection. Don't kill me. No! Not at all! I don't believe you, game. I think I think you're pulling my leg. You're pulling my pisser. That's not that's not an <laughs> That's not fair. Um yeah, I touched the arrow trap there. Or the spikes rather. I'll have to just live with the fact that that happened. I was so close. But that's what I like about all oh. oh game, you rotter. But that's what I like about the game, that kind of, the dread before getting to the end of the level, then finally completing it, and the just sheer satisfaction of getting it done. Very good stuff. I'm going to complete this level, and then we'll call it a day there. But yeah, oh, maybe I won't then. Maybe we'll be here all day, maybe I'll never complete it, maybe this video will never end. Maybe this, oh, right, okay, I'm starting to deviate from the fucking plan here. Right, big jump. Stop. There we go. Up we get. Stop. And up we go. There we go, very good. Wait for wait, jump! Okay, there we go. Oh no. There we go. We're doing fine. We're doing okay. Things are happening. Whoop! There we go. Right. Oh no, I've done it! Oh, yeah. oh, it's stressful. Stressful stuff. Grab the key. Okay, wait. Slow down. Now, a lot of the times there's like a certain sense of momentum that you get with a level that you don't really want to lose the momentum. And that's part of the, the thing that. Right, okay, so. Right, so just wait for it to go. And we'll go now. Oh. Oh! Yes! And there we go. 1001 Spikes. Highly recommended. Yeah, certainly. I'll leave the links in the description below for the, for the game. Yeah, very good game.